Hi everybody, Dr. John Woodall. Uh, I've been building resilience programs for a long time. Listen, I wanted to get back to you about uh, the survey many of you have taken about what are the biggest challenges that parents are facing these days? Parents of kids between the ages of 11 to 18. Uh, the, the survey results pretty much reflect everything I'm hearing at the hospital. Uh, what parents tell me privately and in clinical settings, in therapy, and everything the research uh, has been telling us. Uh, we've been hearing stuff like this since way back in my days at Harvard when uh, I started building these resilience programs that we implemented in New York City after 9-11, in Uganda with former child soldiers, in Bosnia after the war there, Newtown, Connecticut, all over the country. We're hearing the same thing. And what parents are concerned about, what they're telling us, is that they're really concerned about the disconnect they're feeling with their kids once they hit this age and they're consumed by social media and their peer group. And the quality of their interactions with their child is, has diminished because of these things. Their, their time is, and attention is being sucked up by, by their friends and social media in particular. Now, the particular issues parents are worried about in their kids is an increased sense of anxiety they see that their kids walking around with. That they're not confident in how they're engaging the world. They're, they're insecure in their friendships. They feel judged. They feel that they can be ostracized at the drop of a hat. They feel that uh, no matter what they do, no one will like them. These are paralyzing anxieties that a lot of kids have that are really worrisome to the parents, and they should be worrisome. Now, I have to tell you a statistic that is a little ominous, that uh, the latest research is telling us that the suicide rate in the whole country is going up, but it's especially going up in the age group between uh, 10 and 19. Now, that's ominous. So I'm not saying that all kids are at risk of suicide, and God forbid, we don't want anything like that to happen to your child. But it brings up a, a, an important point. That's, a, that's the last thing we want to be worried about, isn't it? That's the thing we want to absolutely uh, take away, take off the table as a problem. But if we think about it, I want to use my hand to demonstrate an idea. So if we think of my, the palm of my hand as all the coarse, resilient skills that make a life work, okay? And if you don't have those skills, you, you, all these problems start popping up. They're more vulnerable for drug abuse, more vulnerable to violence of one kind or another, self-harm, anxiety, depression, different sorts of pathologies start popping up. And as clinicians, we keep coming up with ways to treat these symptoms of a core problem. The core problem is those resilient strengths aren't there, right? So instead of just treating the symptoms, let's get at the core. Let's start building core resilient strengths in our kids' lives, in our families' lives, to prevent those things in the first place and to really empower our kids to have happy, joyful, and productive lives, okay? And to turn their challenges into opportunities, right? This, this is what every parent wants. All right, now, to do that, I've got a series of videos that I'm putting together. This is the first one to get that ball rolling, to get some resilient momentum going in your family, okay? so. This first video is like the seed. We're planting the seed of the first activity. That this seed's going to grow into a big tree with lots of leaves, lots of branches, lots of fruits, right? But we need to plant this one activity first. And what this activity will do is begin to develop a different sense of capacity in your child where they start to see value in themselves that's not connected to their appearance or what other people think about them or performance, but they begin to know themselves for their strengths, right? And we want to then build relationships and build a sense of purpose and motivation from there, right? But this first video, this first task I want you to perform with your kids is the foundation, right? So as simple as it sounds, do this, okay? And I promise you it's going to show some great results. We've seen this in research for decades on building resilience. Okay, now here's what I want you to do. Step one, the next time your child shows any emotional intensity about any topic, I want you to do this. I want you to listen to them at two levels, right? So on the one level, listen to what they're saying, my girlfriend didn't call me back and she said she was going to, my boyfriend didn't show up or, you know, when he said he was, or my friends did this or 
or, you know, it could be anything. Anything they show some emotional intensity for, which means that they're kind of committed to that issue. It's stirring up uh, something that's important for them. Okay, as soon as you hear that, listen to what they're saying, but listen on another level. Start listening for the qualities, the resilient strengths, the virtues, the character strengths, whatever you want to call them, that they're demonstrating while they're talking about that topic. So let me give you an example. Your, your child says, you know, my friend Eddie, he didn't show up and it really hurt me. He said he was going to and he didn't and he's got my stuff and he didn't bring it back and it just really, you know, it really messes with me that he did that. And so you could jump in and say, yeah, he's a real creep. And, and, but instead, say to your child, you know, that tells me that loyalty means a lot to you. It, you you're really showing me that trustworthiness means a lot to you. And it also means, you know, you're a good friend. You know, you want to be a good friend and you want fairness in your relationships. Okay. All you're doing is pointing out strengths in your child, right? Now what that does, that starts to build a vocabulary in them for their own resilience so that they can start thinking about themselves in a different way. Now your relationship can also start being developed and grow based on these resilient strengths. Now, you don't have to use those particular strengths if you don't want to. Your child may have very unique and particular ones. If you need some help figuring out what might be relevant strengths for your child, uh, go, just go to the, uh, the Facebook page, My Resilient Life. I'll put a, um, a list up there of, of resilient strengths. Look them over, see what applies to your child, and then when, they, when you have this interaction with them, then you'll have uh, your own vocabulary that you can go to. Now, do that as often as you can in the next, well, forever, but, but try to do it every single day if you can for the next week and watch what happens to the relationship, right? Watch what happens to the emotional tone with your uh, relationship with your child. Watch what happens in their responses to you, their openness to you, their willingness to share, their willingness to talk about things that are important to them. Observe that, and if you'd like to share it, please do. That'd be fantastic. Go back to that Facebook page, My Resilient Life. Post any cool things that are happening with your kid. <clears throat> uh, any surprises, um, any, anything you'd like. If you have any challenges or concerns, put that there too, and then the, the other folks who are on the, 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 the group will chime in, maybe um, offer some insight as well. Um, no. So what's going to happen now that this video is out, I'm going to get out a bunch of other videos as well to build on this so that that seed that we planted can grow into that tree. And there's a lot of ways we can go with this. And, uh, but from this particular skill, we can start developing um, skills uh, for the family, for life in general. All right. I really hope you uh, uh, enjoyed and got something out of this video. I know I got an awful lot out of it. Share it with anybody you think might benefit. Keep an eye out for those other videos and let's get some resilience going in our families. All right. Thanks a lot.